This tutorial will go over the basics of layers and how they interact with one another. To start, open your image in Acorn. You can see here we have the image of a flower, and we're going to go to File, Save As, and choose the .acorn file format. This is an important step, as we want to make sure that if any changes are made to the image, that they aren't going to be permanent changes to the original file. Saving as an Acorn file also allows you to preserve your layers for future editing. Now let's get familiar with the layers portion of the inspector palette. You can see here the layers portion includes blending modes, opacity, and the layers list. In the layers list right now, we just have our flower layer, but we can click on the plus button located in the lower left hand corner to add an additional layer. So you can see a layer has been added above the flower layer, and it's transparent, as indicated by the checkered preview window. It's named Bitmap Layer 2. We can change the name by clicking on it, and then typing in our new name. Right now, the top layer in the layers list is selected, and we know it's selected because of the dark gray highlighting on the layer. If we click on the layer below it, then we can see that that layer is now selected. Now let's choose the fill tool and click on the color well to change the color. We'll choose a bright pink. And then we're going to click once on the canvas to fill it with the pink. You can see that the preview window in the layers list has changed to reflect the pink color. Layers work in a top down manner. Currently our pink layer is on top and it's covering up the flower layer underneath. We can move layers around in the layers list by clicking and dragging on the layer. So you can see we're clicking on the color layer and dragging it down below the flower layer. So now the flower layer is on top. And we can click and drag it back. You can change the opacity of a layer by going to the opacity slider in the upper right hand corner of the layers list. Dragging the opacity slider to the left increases the transparency and dragging it back to the right increases the opacity. Right now, we have the opacity set to around 50%, so we can see the layer underneath. To the left of the opacity slider are blending modes. You can click on the drop-down menu and play around with the different blending modes to see what each of them do. We'll choose overlay to create a neat effect with the pink layer over the flower. In the layers list, you can see the visibility icon towards the left-hand side of the layer. By clicking on the visibility icon, you can hide and unhide your layer so you can easily see what your image looks like with and without the layer present. If you'd like to delete a layer, you can select the layer in the layers list and click on the trash can located in the lower right-hand corner of the inspector palette. There's also the option for adding and deleting layers under the Layers menu item. You can see the keyboard shortcuts to the right of the commands. The best way to become familiar with layers is to just play around and experiment. So we just reviewed some of the basics of using layers. Be sure to check out the next video tutorial, Using Layers Part 2, to continue to learn about how layers work in Acorn.